Good evening. Today I'll be presenting a talk on the topic expressing music. Many people have various types of anxiety, nervousness, etc. I myself lack in confidence and speaking. But do you think that speaking is the only way to speak up for yourself and share your stories? No, speaking is not the only way. There are different ways to express yourself and that is either through music, dance or other types of art. The one way I like to express myself is through music. When I say music, I mean instruments because when you hear my singing, your ears will bleed. In my opinion, there are two important parts to understanding music as a universal language. The first is music's ability to express feelings and thoughts, which is the purpose of language. In this sense, consider music in relation with the development of spoken languages. The second part is understanding the language of music itself. In other words, knowing the theory of music allows musicians to play with each other with ease. Think of music in this sense as a language system that has culturally been agreed upon, but not universally. An instrument can be the piano, the violin, the guitar, the drums, the flute, etc. One instrument that's very close to me is the violin. At the age of seven or eight, I was influenced by it. Lindsay Sterling, an American violinist, is my role model. Hearing her play the violin made me want to play too. At the age of 12, I started playing the violin and I still play it sometimes. Being able to play a musical instrument with confidence is a fulfilling and enjoyable skill. But if someone were to ask you if you could pick any instrument and know how to play it instantly, which one would you pick? Chances are that the violin would be at the top of the list. But even if violins are surrounded by a romantic aura, many people think it's too hard, too expensive, or just too difficult to learn how to play this well-known and popular instrument. Violin lessons improve language, literacy, and cognitive function in children. Playing the violin even helps children with mental disorders. Playing the violin can also help improve social skills within the children. But did you know that the violin and the other stringed instruments represent coldness, sadness, calmness, compassion, fragility, and joy? Music activates different parts of the brain. They are complex messages that need to be absorbed. Melody, pitch, rhythm, language, emotion, even memory and visualization are all received and created in unison. So no matter who you are or what language you speak, we are all hearing the same language. Besides expressing feelings, making music is the best way to communicate. Not only the violin, but also instruments like the piano set an emotional outlet. It helps to let go of one's feelings. Something that is sometimes very difficult for teenagers to do in a constructive manner. One of the musicians, Evelyn Glennie, faced many challenges just to become a percussionist. But she's a deaf percussionist. The disabled, they find it harder than anyone else to express their feelings. For them, music can be a lifesaver. Music speaks one language and that's emotion. All you have to do is feel the vibrations of the sound feel the music and understand it. I would like to end my speech with a quote. Music is about communication. It isn't something that maybe physically sounds good or orally sounds interesting. It is something far, far deeper than that. Thank you.